A new wave of veterans are now getting sick from suspected wartime exposures. Comedian turned activist John Stewart is now asking Congress to provide better care for our troops. Here our 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman has the fallout right now on burn pits and why they can become so toxic. And so our veterans lived 24 hours a day, seven days a week, next to toxic smoke. Former Daily Show talk host turned activist John Stewart took to Capitol Hill to raise concerns about burn pits. Burn pits are open air war zone garbage dumps containing everything from human and medical waste to ammunition. But the piles just don't sit. They're set afire with jet fuel, creating a toxic mix. 13 investigates first heard about burn pits in 2017 from a now deceased Iraq war veteran. I was working around like chemicals that were hazardous. Specialist Ashley Shelton was sent into a combat zone in Afghanistan despite five positive pregnancy tests and unexpectedly gave birth there. She was part of the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade and talked about her exposure to the burn pits. She fought for and finally received full disability before her unrelated death last year. Stewart wants Congress to provide veterans of the Iraq war who were exposed to the toxins lifetime health coverage. Veterans of past wars have had to fight for care after similar exposures. They just don't care. Former Lieutenant Colonel Steve Avery was a wartime Air Force pilot who flew troops into nearly every armed conflict from Vietnam to Desert Storm. Those veterans were exposed to Agent Orange, toxic sprays and more. Nearly a decade ago, 13 investigates helped Avery to retrieve his lost medical records and to get the benefits he deserved. You would be exposed to burn pits at Army bases, Navy bases, even Air Force bases, and you had no idea what they were burning or destroying or whatever. He says no matter the exposure, the VA should do a better job taking care of the men and women who serve once they come home. These people, they, they know that these guys have been exposed to this. This, this is a no-brainer. And uh, denying these people that are dying their benefits. And that's the kind of stuff that's going on. And Lieutenant Colonel Lavery said the best advice he has for vets who've been exposed is to carefully document everything and then seek help from the American Legion.